students welcome back our today's topic is zones in the lake so based on the light penetration that means how much amount of light will reach in that particular zone based on that we have segregated three zones for the lake first is littoral zone second is limnatic zone and third one is profundal zone now as the zone will vary the amount of light which we can see in that zone that will vary and according to that the animals which we are staying there that will also vary so we can see different types of organism in each of this zone light salt content food oxygen level all this will affect the organism and their population so as the zone will vary all this content and all these things will vary and organisms need to depend on this and organisms need to adapt some of the changes in their bodies so that they will survive in this different zone if all the circumstances are favorable enough then their population will increase if the situation is not favorable or they cannot adapt certain changes so that they can live in that particular zone then this factors may affect them adversely and their population may decrease so now let us get into the detail and see that how each particular zone is different from another zone what types of animals are staying there hello students do you want to excel in maths and science we have some don't memorize courses for you which will help you in your preparation of maths and science i have given the links in the description you can avail the 90% of the discount don't memorize courses are part of infinity learn by shri chaitanya let us start with our first zone and that is littoral zone the characteristic of this zone is it is shallow zone which is near the shore and that's why it is muddy and turbid because shore mud and the soil will always mixed with the water we can see high photosynthetic activities because it is the uppermost zone of the lake now the animals which are residing here are snails clams insects and some of the amphibians then adaptation that means what all changes they have adapted in their body so that they will survive in this zone are they have developed sight eyesight then second is they have dull and grayish body so that their body will get mixed with this muddy and turbid water so they can save themselves from the predator then third is they are fast swimmer again it will help them to save themselves from the predator now plants which we can see in this region in this zone is water lily and hydrilla now the predators of this zone are tortoise snakes and ducks our second zone of the lake is limnatic zone it is an open water zone and that is why it is receiving a good light and continuously receiving fresh water the animals staying here are fresh water fish delphinia cyclops and small shrimps now adaptations of this animals are that they have the shiny grayish silver black scale body so that this bodies will help them to merge with the surroundings then plants we can see in this zones are different types of floating plants water hyacinth wolfia and different types of algae we can see in this zone photosynthetic activity is highest the two zones littoral zone and limnatic zone they both are receiving good amount of light so that they both are termed as photic zone that means we can see good amount of photosynthetic activities in this zone so that means we will be able to see some of the major amount of plants in this two zone so littoral zone and limnatic zone they both are having photosynthetic activities that's why we call them photic zone the third zone is deeply light and it is very cold its name is profundal zone so very less and almost no light will be there in this region and it will be very cold animals staying here are heterotrophs they are known as bottom dwellers and they are scavengers crabs fishes like eels snails and turtles we can see in this region now adaptation for this zone 
is that they feed on dead animals which will settle down. Now bacteria are also there in this zone and they will help to decompose this dead animal and plants organic matter which will settle down at the bottom and they are known as detritus. Now water here is very turbid. Why? Because the mud of the bottom floor, tiny particles of dead and decaying organic material of plant and animals bodies and everything will get mixed up and it will make the water turbid. An adaptation to this situation is animal will rely upon the smell and auditory senses. That they will smell that where the food is or they will hear that if any prey is there or not rather than to rely upon their vision because the water is very turbid they will not be able to see it clearly. That's why they are using these two senses that smell and auditory senses well rather than to rely upon their visionary senses. So as the zone will change the amount of light will change and because of that that they will be able to get their food properly in that region in that zone. Hope you have understood the concept well. If you have any doubt, you can comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe us. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing.